Yes. We're getting on. What's good? Actually, fuck all the pleasantries, all right? I'm going to get real with you. Not that I ain't real all the time, but I'm being honest with you right now. So much so that, like, I had to collect my thoughts before I even turned the camera on. See, today I got a message on Facebook that kind of, after initially it didn't really it didn't really register, but after it did, I had to take a minute, man. And, well, not a minute. I had to take a few hours, right? Cause I'm pissed off, yo, on the level, right? I've been making music my entire adult life, right? And I've been in this business, yes, this business, because that's what it is. It's a business, right? A lot of you motherfuckers are taking this shit for granted and taking the piss out of it, right? This is not a fucking hobby, right? It's a job. It's what I do. It's what I've always done. It's the only fucking thing I know, right? And... On a level, on average, I spend between 18 and 21 hours in this motherfucker. In this studio right here. Right? Because I'm dedicated to what I, to my craft and what I do. I'm a perfectionist. I work hard to I work hard on building the beats. Right? Everything I do in music is always above board. Right? I get sample clearance. And I pay for that shit, right? I get videos done and I pay for that shit, like, and it disappoints me that when people like myself put the amount of hours in to what we do, right, this thing called music or whatever art you in, whatever business you in, as a matter of fact, you put fucking hours in it and you get paid for it at the end of the day. If you as a human being or as a person go to your job, work Monday through Friday, four weeks in a month, and your boss looks at you at the end of the month and says to you, I'm not paying you, as man, woman, child, you're going to feel a fucking way, yeah? So don't tell me otherwise. In essence, what I'm saying to you is you the public, the general public, the buying, the music buying public, yeah? You are our bosses. You are our wage payers, all right? If you don't download that, C, that, that MP3 and pay for it, right, that means I can't eat. That means my family can't eat. I spent 20, 21 hours on average maximum in this bitch putting work in, hard work in, to using that software, to perfecting my craft, to building the beats, to editing the beats, and editing, recording the vocals, editing the vocals, mixing the whole fucking track, to put it out for y'all, right? I don't generally do it because it's about the money, because it's not about the money. I do it because I love it, first and foremost. But at the end of the day, if you're going to tell me that you like my music or you love my music or I make real good music, but then you don't buy it, all right, what you're doing is effectively you're, uh, you're, 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 you're belittling my craft, right? And you're effectively slapping me in my face, right? Because if you don't buy the music, I can't continue to make the music. Because I will need to find another means to support my family. Bear in mind, I've been doing this now for some 12, 13 years. All right? This is not a, a, a fad. This ain't no passing trend or nothing with me. This is my life. Music is, is how I've been able to survive for most of the time I've been making music. It's been a hard road. All right? I've worked with stellar artists. Some you know, some you may not know. I'm not even going to rattle their names off because really and truthfully, that's not important. What is important is the disrespect that you, the public, are showing myself and other musicians like myself. 
right? You say you like our music, you say you love good music, you bitch and you moan about what the fuck is going on on the radio, you're hearing the same five songs every five minutes or whatever, you bitch and you moan about Britain's Got Talent, The Voice UK, what American Idol, Pop Idol, whatever, you bitch and you moan about all that shit, and how people on there talentless and whatever, and, you know, they're just selling you a fucking fake artist. Now, when you come to a, when it comes to a real artist like myself and so many so many millions of others, right? You motherfuckers ain't supporting us, but yet you want us to make music for you, right? We are independent because the majors ain't signing people no more because they can't really control the market no more. So you got people like Lil Wayne and Eminem and all the rest of them giving away their music for free. Right? So why the fuck then are you going to want to buy my music? Because who am I? Really? Well, I'm F.1, a.k.a. to most of my friends and people that know me, they call me Flo. Right? I'm a human being just like you. I work for a living. Or I try to work for a living, but y'all ain't, ain't helping me do that. You saying you're supporting my music? But yet I don't see you tweeting it or posting it or whatever. Big ups, by the way, to everybody that's posted my shit, everybody that's tweeted my shit, everybody that's listened to it, and everybody that's shared it. However you've done that, I appreciate that, right? 100%, no dispute in that. But, like, that message I got today, I got, like, some stupid-ass stupid amount of plays on the track, right? Up in the hundreds. Right in the in the in the in the high hundreds of plays for on the track, and only three people bought that motherfucker. But yet everybody was telling me how much they like it. Right, and that's some bullshit, y'all. Let's be real. If you can afford to go and and buy yourself a packet of crisps, right, to snack on, right, and that shit ain't even gonna put a dent in your belly, or or a, a bag of potato chips, or a uh, fucking Wings from McDonald's. What well, nah, McDonald's don't sell wings. Whatever you can get for under a dollar or under or for 79 pence. But if we're talking about US, the real US conversion to UK conversion, we're talking about what mid 60s, right? About maybe 64, 65p or whatever. That's less than a fucking chocolate bar, y'all. You telling me that? You can't afford to buy an artist's music for less than a chocolate bar to help that motherfucker keep making music. I ain't no different to you. We are no different to you. We all got bills to pay, right? But you can't expect the motherfucker to keep spending money and not helping him reinvest, if you understand what I'm saying to you. For example, I got a Mad Parish video I went to New York and shot last year. All right? That, um... All of a sudden, let me check this tape to see if it's still running. Yeah, it's still running. I flew out to New York last year to shoot a video for a remake of a Mad, of Mad Parish's Hip Hop Bebop that I've done as a tribute <clears throat> excuse me, as a tribute to hip hop, as a tribute to, which was inspired by Heavy D's passing, right? Salute, Heavy D, one of my idols. Now, it cost me a lot of money to go to fly to New York with the t t video crew, that's the director, cameraman, and, and assistant, all right, my management, and myself, all right? This is me investing in myself. Right, along with my business partner, all right, investing in my talent, something that they believe in, something that I believe in, and we fly to New York. I met I met every everybody that I could possibly want to meet in New York last year. I met DJ Premier. I met I met and also got featuring in the video my man Crazy Legs, somebody else that inspired me. All right, I met Grandmaster Kaz. And I met the God and the, 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 the creator himself, Cool Herc. Right? 
I seen, I met Tony Touch and a few other people. Now, don't get it twisted. Respect, right, is important. And I'm so happy that, that my elders and my peers respect what, I, what it is I do, right? I can't front on that. I am thankful. I'm humbly thankful for that. Because on the real, it means a lot that the people that I looked up to like what I do. All right, that's that that's that that is almost enough for me. But when it comes to to people taking food out of my mouth, uh, you know, by scraping my songs off the internet or whatever, right? So you can play it as opposed to spend sixty five pence for it. You know what I mean? That that's kind of hard to take, especially with with the amount of money that is invested in what I do by myself and my business partner, right? Because, believe, a couple K, a few K we spent on, that, spent on that video on the travel and all the rest of it, but then you motherfuckers can't fucking pay 65P to help me continue doing what I'm doing. My first instinct today was like, fuck this music shit. What's the point? I'm spending money to provide y'all with a service and y'all motherfuckers can't pay for the service. Not can't pay for the service, don't want to pay for the service because you want the shit free. You don't come out to people's gigs and I'm not just talking myself here. I'm talking all the artists that are doing what they're doing independently. Y'all motherfuckers tell them you like them but then you don't spend the money and support them. But yeah, you still want them to make music. How the fuck does that work? It don't work. Y'all ain't thinking right. Y'all would rather post a whole bunch of bullshit on Facebook. Hold up a sec, let me check this video again. I got two minutes remaining. Y'all motherfuckers, as I was saying, would rather promote bullshit artists or some bullshit song, right, and laugh at it and complain about it as opposed to Sharing good shit. Music that makes you feel something. Instead of promoting shit that makes you feel something, y'all motherfuckers want to laugh at motherfuckers or bitch about shit people are doing. How the fuck is this industry going to change if you, the consumer, don't spend your money on what's worth spending it on? People are putting on gigs. Artists are playing for free. The venues are fucking free. And y'all still ain't coming out, but yet you say you support. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all don't support shit. Right, and that's my word. And if I get a lot of hate off of this video, I don't give a fuck. Yeah? Because on the real, I ain't no hater. Nor am I the mad rapper. I'm just an honest motherfucker trying to make a living. And y'all fucking with that. I'm here hurting like a motherfucker because y'all are fronting. Right? When DJs are looking at me or for major radio stations, I will call the motherfucker out. But I, I ain't really in the name calling because I don't like to give people airtime like that. I will say the name of the station is BBC. Right? If a motherfucker gonna look at me telling me that my shit is average when it's better than your homeboy shit, fuck you. Yeah? If you gonna look at me and tell me I need to spit on about some gangster shit, shooting up niggas, right? And fucking hoes and bitches and all of that shit, fuck you again. Because I ain't about that. I'm not gonna be trying to tell no kids to go and shoot nobody, to go sell no drugs or whatever. I'm a, let me say this, do whatever the fuck it is you're doing out there, homie, to get your pee up, do whatever you're doing, but understand, there will be consequences to your actions. So if you out there shotting, or you on record talking about you shotting all the time, you, enjoy, you peddling the white and all of that, if y'all peddling the white, how come all of y'all motherfuckers broke and can't afford to do a fucking proper video for your shit? A hundred pounds on a fucking video. Every one of y'all out there is a fucking video director or cameraman. 
Every one of y'all out there is a fucking artist. You you a hot rapper or a hot singer. Every one of y'all is hot with video making and shit. You're all motherfucking liars. Most of y'all should be shot for even touching music software or video software. Because y'all ain't knowing what you're fucking doing. And you're polluting the fucking market. You need to stop that shit. You heard? Anyway, it's still all love if you don't support what I'm doing because on the level, I'm just going to find me something else to do. It doesn't matter that I'm talented. I'll just have to find something else to do to feed my family because y'all motherfuckers ain't helping me do that. Peace.